Jim, that was 2-0 going on a whole lot more, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, obviously we would have likened to have given the, the supporters here another four or five goals to, to cheer on, but I think the reaction from the supporters at the end tells you that it was a, a very pleasing performance. I thought there were some fantastic bits of play throughout the, the whole 90 minutes, um, and the players you know, deserve a lot of credit. They really were professional. I, I, I um, congratulated them on their application and their attitude on Sunday and I think it was more of the same today which kind of tells you the kind of characters that we've got at the group that they didn't underestimate Dumbarton they showed them the utmost respect and um, yeah 2-0 as you say probably going on 6 or 7 to be honest There's obviously lots of tougher opposition to come but that was a pretty impressive debut I think for Yilber Ramadani wasn't it? He's a class act yes uh, we saw in the couple of training sessions that he had prior to the game tonight uh, the attributes that he has, the quality that he's going to bring to the group. He's a very calm and composed individual. He's also got a little bit of aggressiveness in there as well. He's not afraid to get stuck in when needed. Um, listen, he's playing for Albania's national team. You know, he's, he's no mug, that's for sure. 26 year old, great age, bags of energy. The thing I love about him as well is he's only just in the door and he's already demanding of the players around him, shouting and organising. And um, plenty more to come from him as well. Miofsky uh, still to come in, you've still got him involved with the squad. There's been talk of Luis Lopez, I don't know if that one is, is happening as yet, but there's certainly more business to come, is there? Definitely, yeah. I mean, Miofsky, we're, you know, fingers crossed, uh, a week, um, I would like to say 10 days at the longest. You know, uh, unfortunately, you're kind of in the lap of the gods with this visa application process, but our legal team are doing all they can behind the scenes to try and hurry that along. Um, and yes, there's been huge speculation about Luis Lopez. Uh, hopefully we'll get something announced in the next day or two. He's yet to do a medical, but he's a player that we like. He's one that we uh, have had constant negotiations with for the last couple of weeks. So I think that one's very close, but obviously until it's over the line, um, we don't want to... We don't want to tempt fate, I suppose. Another theme is young players showing what they've got at the moment. We're waiting for Conor Barron to, to come back. Mason Hancock started, did really well tonight. Jack Milne came on. And I thought Ryan Duncan really caught the eye second half as well. Yeah, I felt it was only fair to give Mason another opportunity because he was very disappointed with his performance in Peterhead. He had a, a poor 20, 25 minutes at the opening, 45 minutes. He then picked up the, uh, the little knock on the ankle and we made the change, but I had a good chat with him on Monday and you know, I didn't want his head to go down and I said, look, we'll give you the opportunity on Wednesday to make amends and I thought he did that, in fairness to him, I thought he was excellent. Um, Jack Milne coming off the bench, again, he's one that we have real high hopes for and hopefully we'll have a bit of positive news on the contract negotiations uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours about the big man. You know, what is he, 18, 19 years old, he's six foot four. he's one of the fittest members of the group. Um, we need to now try and put kilos on him and try and bulk him up a little bit and he'd be a, a top top centre half I've got absolutely no doubt about that and Ryan Duncan deserves a huge mention I thought he was really exciting really positive uh, taking on board what we're talking about in training good little movements um, and was unlucky not to have a, a couple of assists during that time possibly even had a goal himself so yeah the future is uh, is bright shall we say which is why we don't need to replace all 15 players that went out of the building in the summer you know we want to bring in nine or ten but we've got we feel as if we've got two or three really good ones coming through as well to to continue that pathway from the academy into the first team finally on to Sterling Albion next on Tuesday uh, another clean sheet would be nice there weren't enough of them last season and and maybe this time a few more goals as well yeah I mean hopefully I mean look obviously we want to be you know, known as a, an entertaining team. We want the fans to enjoy coming to, to watch their team. And, um, you know, to do that, you need to score goals. But we created plenty of opportunities. I think, you know, you often hear managers say that, and it's an old cliche, but I'm happier that we're creating the chances and missing them as opposed to not creating them at all. Uh, I think the confidence in the, and, and that bit of belief in front of goal will eventually come. Um, Sterling Albion's another tough test, you know, a very similar game to the Peterhead one. Um, you know, we like playing here on our big pitch where the, the ground staff deserve so much praise for the condition that they've got it in during the summer. But um, it's another tough test. You know, again, the message will be let's not underestimate them, let's prepare properly and, um, and let's be as professional as what we've been in these last two. If we can keep another clean sheet, then uh, that would be a really good step in the right direction. Well done, Jim. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks, Rob. Cheers, Paul.